Lake Michigan offer people a convenient water weight to travel to travel and ship in goods in 19th century. But what about it now? Now you can see the you can see hundreds of sheep on the Great Great Lakes. Most of the sheep are sheaves are live and beneath and some sheep are are rigged or or the owner was the owner that any the sheep was being abandoned by the owners. Sailing is was risk Saving is riskier than working in tannery and foundry. Um, around around fifty thousand people died between nineteen between eighty eighty fifty to ninety nineteen nineteen hundreds. But people, but they are not all died in the in the wreck, but they but they also died in occupation hazard. Why people still want to be sailors? Because they got paid and they admire admire of bravado, bravado. And between 1960 and 70s, because of the Treasure Lord and the TV shows, people started people started to die with to find the treasure by a scuba gear, gear, sonar technology, newspaper record, and archives. But they didn't find treasure, they only find pot pottery and crocs of butter, crocs of butter. The artifact they find let, let people realize the life that might be a century ago, more than a century ago, and and most of diver and in shipwreck enthusiasts describe this describe this uh, as time caps capsule, and most of the artifacts are intact, but it has a limit time for. Archaeological because because of the corroding and the invasive quagga muscles. Yeah, quagga muscles. They colon they colonize they colonize the ship and the wooden the ship and the wooden racks. No no NOAA NOAA preserve people to. Preserve people to explore in the sanctuary, and people don't need to dive by their by themselves now. They can they can see they can visit the shallow they can visit the shallow shipwreck by kayaking. Are you interested in visiting the shipwreck? Mm, maybe not, <laughs> but I hope all of you can enjoy it. Thank you for listening.